Dave Wright from Sensei, and he had a prototype technology for a mating simulator for his smartphone, his tablet, for about 12 months. What we're talking about today is a tablet that touches the back. Uh, Dave, what we have here, as I roll my fingers over this demo, this is a bit smooth, this feels smooth, it's like glass and glass and glass, but the, you can feel the ball of tone on the thing, so you can feel it. What's happening? Well, what Sensei does is it uses an electrostatic field to turn this touch screen into something that can be used for different textures, different gravel, different kind of material, different sand dunes, different sand dunes. Certainly game design, so you can uh, create different objects with different kinds of light effects. But when you feel the friction of the touch screen right there, you can let go and you can see that you're now feeling pressure on the back of your hand. Much easier. I could also be seeing you roll in, uh, say, automotive applications where you really want to keep your eyes off the screen as well. Certainly being able to help you know users orient themselves on the screen and understand the visual direction, uh, execute the action is something that that we're geared towards. And I think this is a great application that we can look at. Now you said briefly this is electrostatic. Explain for us technologically what is happening here. Are you vibrating the screen or uh, putting little ridges up or, or what? We actually create an attractive force which means that they move the screen. So, so we do modulate the friction somewhat. But that gives a sensory perception of physical edges and contours and textures. So that gives the application designers an incredible range of opportunity to engage users and provide more information to their applications. So this is actually not moving. It's changing the friction between the, the, the user and the screen itself. That's right. There's no mechanical movement at all. So that's a big difference between what Sensei does and what traditional tablets do. All right. Now, I don't imagine this is a consumer retrofit. This is something that you, you want to get baked into uh, tablets, you know, Apple, uh, Android tablets. Uh, what's the business of this and, and how is this going to get to the market? Certainly this, this does need to be uh, built into the device and by many developers. So we're using touch pads and other tablets and things with larger screen displays. Because of the nature of our technology, we really are limited in the size of, of the device that we can deploy it on. But the manufacturer needs to do that and then We'll have uh, software programming in place and some application development in place to add these types of devices to the mobile app. Now, not to jinx it, but best guess, when do you think that we will see this make its way to market? Well, we're certainly optimistic that we'll have something in the next year, uh, and that might extend to 24 months, but, uh, but we are moving pretty quickly on that. We're seeing that. Well, the company is Sensei, this is Dave Rice. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Rafe. I appreciate it.